What is going on guys, DBG here, and this is something that I did in 2K16, well before 2K17, and it got received really well. So I'm going to be doing it again this year, and it's going to be upgrades and downgrades rating predictions. We don't actually know what way 2K are going to rate players, but I'm going to assume that 2K are going to do it the exact same as they did in NBA 2K17, where they lowered all the players overalls. In this video I'm going to be talking about 5 players that I think are going to be upgraded. Obviously there's going to be so many more and realistically there's probably going to be about 5 or 6 parts of this. I'm going to do a downgrades video tomorrow and if there's any players you think are going to be upgraded leave it in the comments. I know for a fact there's going to be, there is a lot more, there's going to be at least 6 of these I'd say. Getting at least 30 players that I predict are going to be upgraded. So yes, yeah. so anyway leave it in the comments and now let's get on to the 5 players. First of all, we have got Jeff T, who started off last year as a 75 overall silver. The reason he was a 75 overall silver, I don't actually know, because he averaged 15.7 points per game for a good Atlanta Hawks team in the 15-16 season. I don't understand why he was downgraded. Like, he wasn't that much worse than his All-Star year the year before. But anyway, this year, he played for an Indiana Pacers team, who even though they were worse than the Atlanta Hawks team he played for the year before, it seemed like he had a better season. Even though he averaged less points, he did average 7.8 assists, which is huge. He also shot like 44% from the field, which is good for a small point guard. I think he's going to go up from a 75 rated silver to a 78 rated gold. I think Jeff Teague is going to become a 78 rated gold. Jeff Teague was in the conversation for being an all-star. Like he Obviously, he was never going to make it, but a lot of people thought that he could have snuck in snuck in under the radar as an all-star, so for that reason, I have to put him somewhere in a mid-level gold. Next up, we have got Mark Gasol, who started off the year as a 79 overall gold. Mark Gasol, the year before in 15-16, was injured for a lot of the year and only averaged 16.6 points per game. Yeah, like that's not great for a player like Gasol. This season, the Grizzlies were good, he was the best player on the Grizzlies, and in my opinion, he is the best center in the NBA. I don't understand how it's looking like he's not even going to make any of the All-NBA third teams and that Carl Anthony Towns is going to make the third team over him. I just don't get it, but anyway, he averaged 19.5 points per game. He also averaged 4.6 assists per game, which is huge for a center, while shooting nearly 40% from three of nearly four attempts, which is huge. For that reason, I think that Marc Gasol is going to be upgraded to an 81 overall Emerald. Yes, 81. I still think that there are a lot of centers that 2K are going to rate higher than them, even though I don't think they should. I think that they are 100% going to rate Carl Anthony Towns higher than them, they're going to rate Demarcus Cousins still higher than them, but I think that an 81 overall Emerald will be a fair rating for Marc Gasol. Even though you might be thinking, oh, only 81, you got to remember, there's not that many Emerald cards. Like, an 81 Emerald this year was Draymond Green, I think. So that's still a quite high rating. Next, we have got the surprise star of the season, Isaiah Thomas. Isaiah Thomas had a great year in 2015-16, averaging 22 points per game, and that gave him a 79 overall gold card. In the 16-17 season, he averaged 28.9 points per game and 6 assists, while leading the Boston Celtics to the first seed in the East. For that reason, I think that they're going to upgrade him to an 83 overall Emerald. I know you might be I know you might be saying like why 83 overall? Because I think that they're going to have four, yes, four sapphires. Only four sapphires start off the game. I know they had two this year, but I think they're gonna have four this this year. I'm not gonna say who it is because obviously three of them are in upgrades, but I think they're going to have four sapphires. So for that reason I put Isaiah Thomas a little bit below that. So the highest Emerald rating you can be, along with the likes of Kevin Durant, things like that. I think he should be around that rating, maybe 82, but I'd give him an 83. Next, we have got Kawhi Leonard, who started off last year as an 83 overall Emerald. Kawhi Leonard averaged 21.2 points per game in the 15-16 season while winning Defensive Player of the Year. He also shot 44.3% from three, which is unbelievable. Like that was almost league leading. And in the 16-17 season, he did actually shoot a lot less from three. He only shot 38%, which isn't much different to his career average. But at the same time, he averaged 4.7 rebounds, 1.8 steals per game, 3.5 assists, which is a career high by a whole assist, and also averaged 25.5 points per game. Like We can see in the playoffs that the Spurs are really, really struggling without Kawhi Leonard. And a lot of that is due to the fact that his game has improved so much that he's now one of the best players in the NBA. For that reason, I think they're going to give Kawhi Leonard an 84 overall Sapphire. 
Yes, an 84 overall Sapphire. You might be saying, oh, he deserves to be upgraded by more than one, but I only have two players rated higher than 84. So I think an 84 Sapphire is going to be fair for Kawhi Leonard. And last up for this video, we have got the guy who is going to win MVP, to go average a triple-double, and it's Russell Westbrook. Russell Westbrook started off last year as an 83 overall Emerald, after averaging 23.5 points per game and 10.4 assists per game the previous year. This year, he averaged a triple-double. 10.7 rebounds, 10.4 assists, and 31.6 points per game. Yes, 31.6. Even though he did shoot six more shots than he shot the previous year, his percentage wasn't that much worse. Like, to be honest, his percentage was the exact same as it was two years ago when he couldn't lead the Oklahoma City Thunder to the playoffs. But I think that because of the season he had, he is going to be an 85 overall Sapphire. So he's going to be tied for the highest rated player in the game. And I think that an 85 overall Sapphire is fair, to be honest. He had an unbelievable season stats-wise. Even though, personally, I think Harden had a better season, you still can't take away the fact that he, he got a triple-double, which is unbelievable. So anyway, that's the video. Any players you think should be upgraded, leave it in the comments. And as always, thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.